Welcome back everyone to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a ton of money in Welcome back everyone to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a ton of money in the game So before we actually begin with this let's go ahead and begin with our shouts for the day Which is going to these people So thank you guys for that and if you want to be in the next shout out all you got to do is like subscribe hit that post notification bell and then comment down below so i can go ahead and put it in the next video all right so with that being said let's just go ahead and begin with it now this is going to be an old-fashioned little method because none of our businesses they didn't do anything this week for two times 20 rp so what you first want to do is make sure that you guys own an office and an agency you can do this by going to your phone, go over to Internet, then go to Dynasty 8 Executive, and then purchase one. If you guys have the Criminal Starter Pack, you can actually get the Maze Bank West for absolutely free, but you will have to buy the Agency even if you do have it. First thing you want to do is make your way over to your office, and then you want to go over to the computer. Once you're at the computer, all you want to do is register as a CEO, Press login and then go to vehicle cargo. From here, you want to go and source a vehicle. We're going to go ahead and source a vehicle now. And what we're looking for is top range. Now, a little strategy where you can actually get a ton of it is to actually fill everything up with mid range and low range vehicles. That way, every time you do one now, you only get top ranged. Which is exactly what I did, and now I have it. So after that, all you gotta do is just go and complete it. What I'm also gonna do for this is actually set a timer so you guys can see just how long it took me to do this, as well as, you know, how much money I got in that amount of time. So now that I got the Mamba, all you gotta do is deliver this back to the warehouse. Now there is cops on us, and what you see here is something called a repair cost. Now this repair cost right now for my vehicle is 2621 So just make sure you don't get shot of and make sure you don't take damage to the vehicle because you will have to pay that price for it. So I just delivered it. Now I did have to pay a repair cost. Not exactly what it was. I know it was over $3,000. We'll see here in a minute. $3,797. So that kind of does suck because um, it then belittles how much money we make. So what we're going to have to do then is go ahead go back over to the computer inside of our warehouse. Access the computer. And then here you'll see a bunch of different options. Now what we're going to be doing is the vehicle we just did which is top range. And every top range vehicle is $40,000. Now if you get the standard range it is $15,000. And if you guys get mid-range, it is $25,000. Alright, so what we're going to do from here is get the top range, export it, and then what we're going to be doing is called a specialist dealer. You get three different options for this. So basically, if you don't spend any money, you can just get the $40,000. If you spend an extra $10,000, you actually make a $20,000 profit, but you will have to do a little modification. And you actually have to go and pick up a pink slip, which sucks because this is probably by far the worst one because it takes more work and you have to spend money. Now, the very last one, this is the one I like doing because it gives you the most amount of money, is the commission offer. So this will give you $100,000 for selling the vehicle, but it requires a cost of $20,000. So this gives you the most amount of profit. Let's go ahead and do the specialist dealer, spend our $20,000, and we basically just have to do exactly what we want to do for this because our customization doesn't matter. And then we can just go ahead and deliver it. Are you tired of being broke in GTA Online and just wish you had more money? Then OP Mods is the website for you with its boosted accounts, modded services, and with its high star reviews on Trustpilot. This is going to be the website for you and one thing that they provide is proof of work so you guys don't ever have to worry about getting scammed and they do everything from PlayStation to Xbox to even PC 
and that'll be linked down in the description. And don't forget to use discount legit for a 5% discount on all your purchases. Thank you and back to the video. And there we go. So he just delivered it. Now he did lose a 6,000 profit, but we still made $93,800. Still, even with that value loss, we still made more money doing the higher range than if we did any of the other ones. So now that we're done, what we want to do from here is actually go ahead and you want to go over, call Franklin, and then start up a payphone hit. You can easily just skip this, uh, this little cinematic here quickly. Oh, maybe not like that, but just spamming the attack button. And we got payphone hit, the tank entrepreneur. So what makes this payphone hit actually a really good money method is doing the assassination bonus. So for here, we do have to assassinate a target, which would be over here. I think that's at the golf course is where that's at. Let's just go ahead and give us a quick vehicle here. And we also have a time limit of 14 minutes and 45 seconds. So our assassination bonus is to pick up the target in a taxi and take them out with a gas station explosive. This will actually be very easily. And one thing about it that's really nice is they actually give you the location of where the taxis actually are. Now that we had a taxi, all we have to do is go and pick them up and then drive into a gas station, um, like fuel pump or whatever. There we go. And now we've got the hit complete. So we made 85,000 in total for something that only took us 3 minutes and 35 seconds to do. You need to make sure to do that assassination bonus because if not, this thing will not be worth it at all. So now what we're going to do, because we finally got that done, uh, what we're basically doing is killing time on the cooldown for the export vehicles. We're now going to go ahead, hit Franklin up again, but this time we're going to request a security contract. There we go. And now for this one, we have vehicle recovery. Alright, so this one might not be too bad. So we got to go to LSIA, which is the airport. Alright, one of these are the motorcycle. Alright, so this, okay, this wasn't it. Wait, is it inside the cargo bob? Oh, it, oh wow, that's a pretty nice bike. That's actually a really nice one. That kind of makes me a little jealous there. Makes me want to get a bike now. Okay, and then once we're here, I think we have to go and open the hangar, which is going to be from a panel. Yeah, we gotta search the area for a button, which is going to be inside of here. So if you guys ever get this type of mission, you just want to go inside this building here, because in here we'll have it now more people will spawn so you just want to make sure to kill them real quickly now when it tells you don't like the hangar doors now this is actually really confusing if you guys do this for your first time but it's basically just going to be this little uh green button here and it's going to be like next to the hangar doors so just to make sure to do that they're not in any of these so don't be looking in here at all and there we go now from here, we just got to go back, steal the bike, and then I'm guessing just deliver it to the agency, and we should be done from there. And there we go. So we just delivered this back to the agency, and now what we're going to be doing is, now that we've done a payphone hit and a security contract, in that amount of time, we should be able to actually go and do another vehicle export. Or if you guys don't have another vehicle to sell, you can actually just go... And, um, still one. So let's go ahead and start heading our way there now. Okay, so we basically got all of the payphone hit and that one security contract done. Now we made our way back to the warehouse. We're going to sit down and the cooldown it should be over with. Mm. Yep. So it's now over with, and you can literally just keep doing this over and over. So I want to show you guys how much time it took. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Alright, so I just added up all the time and then how much money I made in total. So believe it or not, this was actually just really a coincidence. It took literally perfectly 20 minutes to complete all of it, including the payphone hits, delivering the vehicle, and then doing it one of the security contracts. So this took us 20 minutes in total and we made $201,600. So even though every time you do one of these little missions, it seems like a little bit of money, 
it goes a really long way once you do it all at once. So just remember that you can make that much money in that amount of time. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. If you did, then leave a like and subscribe for another video like this. With that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there and goodbye.